the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Pastor uh, Joanne, the Lord has spoken with me uh, today. The Lord Jehovah, the creator of Israel, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the creator of all men, the Lord that created even the stars, the universe, the Jupiters, he created all creation. Jehovah El Gibor, the mighty God, Jehovah El Olam, the everlasting God, Olam. Today he has spoken with me in a tremendous way. He caught me up in a sleep. He slayed me in a moment and I went into a sleep. And then immediately showed me the skies. And when I looked up into the heavens, I saw the mighty, mighty, mighty glory of the Lord. The way he visited in Nakuru, the tremendous and dreadful and fearful way he visited himself. God's Father, the Godhead, in his cloud of his glory. I saw the cloud of his glory moving, moving from the heavens and coming down to the earth. A huge, it covered the entire sky. A huge presence of the cloud of his glory that covered the entire sky and exactly the way he visited his servant in Nakuru in the past meeting. In the most recent meeting, he came down in that same dark cloud coming from heaven, the thick dark cloud of the Lord, like smoke and cloud mixed together. And he came down the way he came in Nakur, but this time he covered the entire sky and he was moving, at first moving, hovering around the earth, and then finally came down. The cloud of his glory now came down, down all the way to the earth to where his servant was. And it's a tremendous visitation like has never, ever, ever happened before. This has never, ever happened. This is so big. That is the glory of the Lord I've seen. I've seen the glory of Jehovah, the Lord our maker, Jehovah Hosseinu, the Lord our peace, Jehovah Shalom. Our sovereign Lord, the sovereign Lord, the one who is sovereign, his authority is unassailable, incontestable, indisputable, Jehovah Adonai. Our eternal creator, Jehovah Elohim, the Lord of hosts is coming, Jehovah Sabaoth. Our shepherd, the shepherd of Israel, the shepherd of the church, the Redeemer of all men that sent us Jesus to reveal to us his tremendous love of the grace. Jehovah Rohi, Jehovah Tidkenu, Jehovah El Gibor, Jehovah Eloheinu, Jehovah Rafa, Jehovah Eloheka, Jehovah El Shaddai, and on. The Lord Most High, I have seen his tremendous glory coming down. These indeed, these are the mighty days of the mighty glory of the Lord. These are the days of his servant. These are the days of his visitation. So I know that the earth is sitting on the verge of a major visitation. I have seen the Messiah come for a holy church. May all the nations prepare in repentance and the return to Jesus that they may turn away from all sin, all the people turn away from sin, that they may be righteous and holy before the Lord. Because the Bible says, for without holiness, nobody will see the Lord. So I have seen the Lord coming. I see the tremendous glory of Jehovah Jireh, the big glory, the powerful glory of Jehovah Mekadishken. Jehovah Shama, I see his glory coming, and this time is so big, the same glory that visited in Nakuru, but he covered the entire expanse, coming like 
that club looked to mock and come in the way he came down in Naku. It's a tremendous, fearful sight behind. The Messiah is coming. Let us prepare. Let the church turn away from sexual immorality, the dressing of women that are immoral. Let the young men turn away from alcoholism, immorality, drugs, and this lukewarm Christianity, because he said he would puke. In the book of Revelation, he said, I'll vomit you out. You are neither warm nor hot. I don't know your son. Let us take a stand. These are the days for which you take a stand in the workplace to let people know that you are born again. You stand with Jesus. For you, Jesus comes first. Whether it means losing that job or it means losing that friendship, but these are the days to take a stand. To take a stand for Jesus, for righteousness, the way he took a position for us on the cross, publicly and globally and openly. Thank you. Shalom.